Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday. Not that much about Laravel, but more about dev career, productivity and business. Today I want to talk about launching new features. Whether it's the feature in your own product or maybe a feature for a product at your job or freelance client, there is a way to launch features, let's say, more safely. I've been doing that for many years in multiple times and recently I've done the same and I want to tell you that. So recently on my Laravel Daily, I've launched the jobs feature, so jobs from Twitter and the idea came to me during Laracon in Portugal. After listening to inspirational talk about AI and text parsing and stuff like that, I decided that maybe I can use Twitter AI to identify the jobs, the job offers, and then show it to you guys on LaravelDaily.com. But if I started exactly the whole idea of using AI, that would be a huge job. To use OpenAI or train my own AI to do that, then come up with algorithm of what is a job and what isn't a job, it's not easy. So I started step by step and this is my whole idea of this video. You can launch the feature with version 0.1, then some more features, so sub features. So what I did was add a database structure for those jobs and then manually picking 10 first jobs, adding them into the database via table plus SQL client, so literally copy and pasting from Twitter, including tweet IDs for the links, then simple page with a simple table to show those jobs, and that's it. So that version was launched in Frankfurt airport while traveling from Lisbon from Laracon. So this is probably the best example of so-called minimum viable product. Viable means it brings value already. And since I wasn't sure how many jobs there would be in total on Twitter, so I decided to experiment first manually, 10 jobs. We launch. Okay. The next day I've checked Twitter and add three more jobs and then started noticing the patterns, the similarities, what Twitter accounts tweet about the jobs, what should I filter, filter out, or maybe specifically favorite some Twitter handles like Lara Jobs, for example. And then day by day with every batch of still manual jobs, I've been improving my own internal system to filter the tweets, to order them, to automate my own work. And now after a few weeks of doing that, like five minutes per day, now I understand the whole feature much better. I understand the amount of data, the structure of data. And now in my mind, I'm smarter about that topic to actually turn on maybe potential AI. But my message to you here in this video is not about AI. My message is that you can launch first version of the feature publicly if it's valuable already. And then based on the first feedback, based on the first data, you can improve, but then you know what to improve. Before you launch, you can only guess, play with theoretical knowledge maybe, or some assumptions, and only when launching in real life, you can improve on the feedback. In a way, it's a classical agile MVP lean startup methodology thought that you should launch and then iterate in sprints or something like that. But this was just my personal example in recent weeks, how I've done the same thing. So I just wanted to share with you. Don't lock yourself in the cave for months before launching a feature. Launch as soon as you think it is viable and then improve on the feedback. Potentially, it may save you a lot of time of not building the features or the functions that no one would use. And I hope it will help some of you get started at all because for some of you, some features or some products or some packages seem overwhelming to just start. But if you identify the version 0.1, the minimum viable product, maybe you will stop procrastinating and actually start something. That's all the advice for today. I hope I will see more of your products in the future that I could share on Twitter and on YouTube here and see you guys in other videos.